Last week, De La Salle cut the ribbon on a new $8 million wing for the charter school, a wing which actually gives them a new address as well. 3737 Troost is now the official location of a school which has been on the scene since 1971, but has seen no major improvement since 1991. The local show's Krista Blackwood sat down with Executive Director Mark Williamson and De La Salle senior Michaela McIntosh to learn more. Mark, um, $8 million, it's a significant uh, capital investment, kind of shows you're building for a long haul. Did you look at moving to another neighborhood before you invested in, in rebuilding and expanding your current location? Well, there was some of that that, uh, that took place. You know, whenever you engage in a project that large, you want to consider all of your options. And, and uh, once it was fully vetted, uh, the, the call was made to uh, stay where we were at renovate the space that we're currently in and also add the addition uh, uh, to the space. And the main reasons for staying where you are? Well, we are, um, we're an urban core school. Yeah. And uh, that's, you know, that's where your customer is. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so you take your business to your customer. And mm -hmm. so that's why we stayed where we were at. It's a fantastic renovation. Um, the amenities that you added with the expansion, was that decided before the expansion started or was the expansion considered and then you decided what to put in it? Well, we built it around the, we, we designed the project based on what we knew was the our, our students' current need mm -hmm. and also what we thought were some of the emerging needs. You, you really have one chance to get this thing right and so you want to maximize the gain from it, right? So so the first thing we looked at was this the students' needs. You know, what, what kind of tool do we need to build for, for these guys to be successful. And so when we designed the building, we designed that with, we, we designed, uh, made that design with, with those needs in mind. For example, the print shop was sort of shoved down in the basement into the corner of the building and, and it worked, but it was adequate. Uh, likewise with the Early Childhood Development Center, um, it was in a space that was adequate, but adequate's not okay. And so when we designed the, the new space, uh, we designed a space that was specific to uh, an early childhood development center. We designed a space that was specific to a, a student-operated uh, print shop. Just to give you an example of, of uh, the, I talked about the school as a, as a tool. Uh, something that's very clear in that respect is, is our library. Check that. I'm not allowed to call it a library. It's a media center mm -hmm. uh, for all the viewers. Remember, media center. <laughs> Uh, and and it's it it's a legitimate, uh, a, a legitimate uh, workspace for the for the students. And then the second thing we looked at was well, now that we're in the middle of this, it, what can we do to uh, be a good neighbor? You know, how can we expand uh, the 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 gain beyond the students? What else can we capture? And so we uh, we took a look at uh, this whole truce revitalization effort. Which is, which is fantastic, and we said, you know, we're about to build a new building here. Seems to me uh, we could do something to contribute to that revitalization. And so, uh, and so we did, you know, from 37th to Mannheim, uh, all along Troost, uh, that's our contribution to the effort. And then on the inside, we said, you know, we've got this space, we know that there are folks in our neighborhood who need places to meet or to convene and gather, and so we built uh, space with that in mind. Now, Michaela, what does this mean to you? You're a senior there. Have you been to another school besides De La Salle? Um, yes, well, my, from my freshman year, mm -hmm. I started at a school, and I, I hated that school. <laughs> we won't it. name it then. I'm not going to name it. But, but what about it did you not like? It was, it was, it was a large school, mm -hmm. and the kids were crazy, mm -hmm. and so, I would find reasons on not going to school, mm -hmm. and so I was just, I was tired of, I just could not stand this. So how did you find De La Salle? Um, through some ladies at our church. Okay. They had told us about the school and the students, and we had tried it out, and so the very first day that I started, I was like, uh, about coming out of the school that I was in, I was like, I was, I was kind of fed up mm -hmm. and when I started there I was my very first day I was like oh I don't want to be here I was tired of coming to school mm -hmm. by the second day I, I was like I think I could fit in with this school because it was a smaller environment mm -hmm. so I liked being there and the teachers they were getting in they were really helping me out too so 
and it's uh, 300 students for capacity, but you're at about 260 right that's, now? That's correct. So, um, so that's a small enough number for yes. you to be able to feel like you know most people who are there. Mm -hmm. When you came over here as a freshman, mm -hmm. and w what you thought of your future as a freshman, what's it like now? What's different? Well, before I was, I was not going to go to college. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I hate school. I don't want to go. But now, being where I am now, I kind of want to push to go to college now. So. I talked earlier about emerging needs of our students, and one of the things we're finding, which is wonderful, that more of our Michaelas are wanting to go on to post-secondary education, whether it's four-year, two-year technical right. training. Um, and so what we've done is organizationally positioned ourselves that we're able to provide the support that these students need uh, past high school. Uh, the end game back in, in the day, the end game used to be just graduate from high school. Uh, the high school diploma will carry you. But we, we know those days are gone. And so we find it very encouraging that we've got students now who say, no, I, I really do want to go on to college. And so it becomes an incumbent upon us to make sure that Michaela has the exposure, uh, college tours and help with financial aid and some of that planning that goes on uh, so that she can be successful. Otherwise, it can be a pretty mind-blowing experience to have to fly it solo. and. Uh, and, uh, you know, so it's encouraging that, that we've got these students who are interested in post-secondary ed. Very exciting. What's the best thing about the expansion from your perspective as a student? It feels more like a high school now. Yeah. It, going in there, from seeing the building before then, it is so different. From going in there, like, the very first day I started, I was like, wow, this is, this is really nice. They did a lot of work on it, and it really looks good. Good. Well, thank you both for being here. I congratulate you on your success and look forward to seeing you in the future somewhere amazing. So keep on going. It's nice to have you here on The Local Show. Thank you very much. Thank you.